Hey guys, Shawty Phillips here with my review of The Human Centipede 3. Just finished watching on demand, you know, it's up on iTunes and video on demand, you know, cable on demand, all that stuff. You know, I've been wanting to see this movie for years, you know, since I first heard it announced and, you know, talked to Lawrence Harvey about the movie a little bit at uh, Days of the Dead a couple of years back. But, you know, finally the movie is out and done and, you know, on demand. Um, you know, I actually like the first two movies a lot. They, you know, they're... A lot of people talk about those movies going, oh, they're so gross, or they this, but I haven't really looked at them or looked at them or watched them. Um, you know, the first one was a really, really well-made movie. The second one, though, was, you know, took it more to a shock value thing, but it was really well shot, had really nice black and white, and just like a really cool, weird vibe about, you know, a character who was, you know, basically in that one, it was the uh, movie was actually a movie, and, you know, uh, the Martin character played by Lawrence Harvey was obsessed with that movie, and, you know, he was nuts and wanted to emulate it. So he was trying to make his own centipede with stapling people together, and he didn't know what he was doing, and that kind of added a creepy aspect to it, because of almost like it influenced him to do it, and people always say, oh, horror movies can make people crazy, and make people that have that kind of tendencies could make them do something like that. So that kind of added to a cool element of this. This one takes it so both of those first him and seventeen one and two were both movies and uh, Lawrence Harvey plays another character in this and uh, uh, Dester Laser, you know, who was in played the doctor in uh, you know the first movie is in this playing the crazy warden in this movie. So they're both back in this movie playing different characters and those both those movies were actually movies and Lawrence Harvey's character who works in the jail is basically telling the warden about the movies and saying this would be a good form of punishment because basically this prison has become cr pretty much overrun. Uh, you know, the warden in the, mo in the movie cannot keep it together. He can't, everyone is out of control. He doesn't know what he's going to do. And he, I mean, it's played really, really over the top. And to some points it was like, okay, 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 because it was just a little bit much at points with the over the top because it was like this prison is driving me off the wall and that's what it was the whole movie and it you know it was like that in the first movie a little bit with him but he just took it so much and so much it was just like calm it down a little bit just a little bit and i know he's trying to go for you know like the uh linda blair kind of movies like the 80s movies Where's the people in prison and things like that? You know, I'm surprised you didn't have a heart attack, to be honest, because doing like that the whole time could make you like, whew. But, you know, it's kind of supposed to be like one of those 80s kind of things about the crazy prison and that kind of thing, sort of exploitation. You know, and it was okay, but some of the technical aspects of this movie were not perfect. Uh, so, and especially in the beginning, some of the shots and things like that and the editing just was not amazing. And I just didn't absolutely love some of it. It it really lacked too in music. You know, there, it felt like there was very, very little music. And the music they used came across in some points a little bit like stock music. And I don't know why. And I just I almost felt like this was almost like the rough cut. And it still needed some more work in the editing and the color correction just to make it perfect. Like I'm, not, like I'm saying is I liked it, though. I liked aspects of the movie. <clears throat> but I didn't absolutely love this movie. To me, the second movie I really thought was cool because it was so weird and really nice black and white photography in that. This, on the other hand, I think it was too big of a movie with not enough money behind it, I'm just the way it seemed, to execute it properly. And, you know, the whole thing was the build-up for The Centipede, and The Centipede, when it came to it, was done better in the second movie, and it just wasn't very gritty and it, I don't know I just some of it just wasn't that great even some of the effects in this movie when they would have like a gunshot and things like that were just sort of okay but the basic idea though is Eric Roberts character who's the governor is basically going to fire both of them you know the warden and then Lawrence Harvey's character who works with him because they're not keeping this prison together so then you know Lawrence Harvey's character tells them about this centipede and maybe this is the way to control the population of this prison and they eventually you know if they're gonna do it you know you know from the trailer that they do it and it's kind of that's essentially what it is like I said I didn't absolutely hate this movie I thought it was okay but I felt like at the same time it just was not perfect on all the technical aspects because the other movies I didn't get that vibe I felt like they felt really completed 
and really perfect and really, uh, to me, they did. This, on the other hand, just sort of felt like this is what it is and this is what it's going to be. And, you know, and I also could tell in some of the aspects that, you know, the director, Tom Six, who was in this movie too, was trying to figure out how to top it. And some of the stuff I didn't like, I didn't like the, tr you know, some of the treatment of Brie Olsen's character. I, like some of the things that I just didn't like a little bit, because I just sort of felt like it was a little much. Just a little, some of the stuff. Um, so I wouldn't highly recommend this one compared to how I thought about the other ones. I still, like I said, did like it, but didn't absolutely love it and didn't go away from it thinking I would going to look at this one again like I did with the other ones. And I don't think it's going to live on as much. I am interested, though, in seeing what Tom Six does again, because to be honest now, I feel like I'm done with these movies. You know, we've seen it now. I don't think it can be topped at all. And I, I don't think it was very successful at topping it just because it was just too much of the same. I, really, if you guys do watch On Demand, though, I'd love to hear what you guys think. I would love to hear your you know, feedback on this, um, What you know, if you guys agree with some of the stuff we're saying. So anyway, though, guys, thanks again for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.